We continue to watch Chris Strobel now. A tropical depression. Winds are down to 35 miles per hour. The center of the storm is pretty close to the northern end there of Guatemala and hasn't quite made that turn back up towards the north. They're expecting that to start to happen as we get later on today into tomorrow. Right now it's moving to the east, southeast, very slowly at about three miles per hour. Here's the center of the storm according to the National Hurricane Center. Watch that track all of a sudden start to move back up towards the north as we head into Friday. By Friday evening, they're expecting it uh, to maybe gain strength again as a tropical storm be right along the northern edge of the Yucatan Peninsula. Through Saturday, it'll work its way through the Gulf of Mexico. Winds at about 50 miles per hour. As it moves through the Gulf, it's going to encounter some wind shear, so that's why they're keeping it uh, basically a tropical storm. They're not they're thinking it's going to increase to a hurricane. You can see by Sunday, winds are at about 60 miles per hour. Sunday morning, very early. Probably come on short sometime late Sunday night, very early on Monday morning. And they're still thinking as it comes on shore that the winds will be around 60 miles per hour. That basically means uh, if this track holds true, we're going to be well on to the uh, west side of the storm. So we'll catch some scattered showers maybe on Monday, but it's not going to be a big deal for us. We'll get minimal impacts from this thing. Now over towards New Orleans, Baton Rouge, that's where they're going to see some heavy rain, maybe 5, 10 inches of rainfall, some strong gusty winds, wind gusts upwards of 50, 60 miles per hour uh, as this comes through. Uh, we're going to be on the west side, which is usually the weaker side of one of these storm systems. Um, we are still in the cone of uncertainty, so this thing could wobble one way or the other, so we could get closer to the center. We'll have to wait and see. I think once we get into late Friday, early Saturday, we'll have a little bit better idea on the track. Uh, but it's been pretty consistent over the last uh, 24 hours. They uh, continue to bring it right in towards parts of the uh, south central Louisiana, and then it's going to quickly move out of the area, so it's not going to sit there for a couple of days and dump rain. It's going to move through, give you uh, probably one day of some heavy rain over towards south central Louisiana and then move out. Like I said, the track hasn't moved a whole lot over the last 24 hours, and the computer models basically have that same track right up through south central, southeastern Louisiana. Uh, most of them agree on that as we go through the next few days. What's Keeping it out towards the central Gulf and up into Louisiana. There's two areas of high pressure, one to the north, one off towards the south and east. Uh, the one towards the south and east kind of pushed towards us, pushed this storm system up into southern Louisiana, while this one kind of retreats back and uh, allows it to kind of go back to up towards the north. And uh, we'll see those things kind of push it around up through Louisiana as we go into early next week and then eventually off towards the north fairly quickly. So uh, we'll continue to watch, make sure those high pressure ridges are doing what they're supposed to do, at least keep it away from us. Uh, like I said, those folks in south central Louisiana, they'll get some from the storm, but this is not going to be uh, a strong hurricane or anything like that, but still they're going to get a lot of rain and wind as we go towards, it looks like, uh, Sunday night into Monday. A live SkyCam network from Beaumont here at Education First Federal Credit Union looking down the East Texas Freeway. Partly cloudy skies across the area. Not much on radar. A couple of spotty showers, one towards Port Arthur, maybe a couple down there south of Winnie, but overall pretty quiet. We'll see about a 20% coverage of some spotty showers through the afternoon as temperatures climb up to around 90 degrees. It's going to be a hot afternoon. Uh, we'll see things die down as we get into the evening and then overnight mostly clear. We'll see temperatures back down into the 70s and tomorrow we'll do it all over again. Maybe even a little bit hot or tomorrow back into the lower 90s. So 20% coverage, uh, maybe a couple of showers through the early evening, partly cloudy with south winds at 5 to 10. Highs today will be around 90 and then for tonight, warm muggy as we drop back into the lower 70s. Here's a look at seven day forecast and I'm going for a uh, drop my clicker. I hardly ever do that. <laughs> We're going for rain chances to stay pretty low all the way through uh, really Sunday. Uh, storm system's just going to be coming on shore very early on Monday, so I think Sunday will be fine. Maybe a couple of afternoon showers here and there. Monday, I think as the storm system passes through Louisiana, we'll be close enough to catch about a 50% coverage of some scattered showers. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, as it pulls away, I think a rain chance is going to be going back down. But our temperatures coming up will be in the middle 90s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. All right, looking like the best case scenario for us here in Southeast Texas right now. Yeah, right now, not looking too bad. Once again, though, it could, could wobble change. back and forth. Yeah, it could change. So we're watching it, but I like to see the consistency we've seen the last couple of days yeah. with that uh, track going right up into uh, uh, south central Louisiana off to our east. Yeah, and hopefully they don't get a deluge of rain either.